Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol ACBFF. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here, as they're called, representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to this time, Frampton is a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Done this analysis several times, did it uh, back on Friday, so that's where these green line annotations are coming from. But after today's price movement, definitely some updates here need to be made. First thing I'm gonna do is just a little house clean and go ahead and delete that line out. Sure, it's still pertains to the chart, just not relevant right now. And from a presentation standpoint, I don't wanna risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines all over the place. So I wanna try to keep this as clean as possible. The first update though that does need to be made comes about based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they do tend to act as resistance. So for those of you that did watch the video from Friday, hopefully you remember me talking about 950 as a level of uh, support, but now that that price is broken, that's gonna be one of the uh, near term levels of resistance. So 950, the other level of resistance to keep an eye on, and I'm not gonna assign a numerical value to it, it but that is the purple line right there, the 50 period simple moving average, keyword being moving. So that line, that value is going to change and move over time. Therefore, you know, that's why I'm not gonna, you know, give a, an ex exact value. Right now, sure, it's valued at 10.03, uh, but as tomorrow and the rest of this week unfolds, that line uh, and that value is going to continue to change. But as it stands right now, top priority right now is getting up above 950, and if, uh, you know, the bulls can do that, then you can start to focus more so on the, the 50 period simple moving average, that purple line. What about levels of support? So in order to do this, gotta kinda go back a little bit further into the chart's history here. So the current level of support right here at about $8.15, which makes uh, quite a bit of sense why the price bounced from where it did. You go back through the history of things, you can see this was a former area of resistance. When it was broken, resistance turning into support and then support once again. So 815 will definitely be that ideal level going forward that you wanna see the price hold up above. If the price can hold above it, then uh, you know next level of support, not until below eight. But as it stands right now, uh, the price is even close to threatening to going down through it. So that'll be the only area I talk about for now. So overall, those will be the kind of uh, key areas to start off the week, but the week is young, still four days left. So let's see how things continue to play out. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.